HBO has brought one of our favorite games to life. The trailer for the TV adaptation of The Last of Us was just released. The revelation was also done on The Last of Us Day, making it even better. We're all delighted to see the cast of the upcoming show, and don't have anything but high hopes for what it offers. In this video, we'll take a look at Joel and Ellie's casting as shown in the trailer. First off, who's going to be playing Joel and Ellie? Pedro Pascal stars as Joel. In the games, Joel learns to become a delivery specialist after a devastating illness nearly wipes out mankind. Like the original game, the show will show Joel taking Ramsey's character, Ellie, on a trip to a lab where doctors can look at her blood. As Ellie appears to be unaffected by the virus, the key to discovering a cure could be held in her body. This could help them reclaim the society that is plagued by the virus. The show will follow Joel and Ellie as they wander through the remains of America, avoiding the ferocious infected. At the same time, they have to deal with the other survivors, some of whom are willing to do anything to get supplies and make sure they can stay alive. While there are lots of zombie stories out there these days, The Last of Us has still managed to leave its mark. It delivers a deeply emotional story that has gotten us close to tears. They work alongside each other to stay alive as Ellie and Joel create an unbreakable friendship, raising the bar of storytelling everywhere. The trailer clip demonstrates how HBO's series adaptation will stay true to the game, while some of the places are wonderfully recreated for television. However, it primarily demonstrates how well-suited Ramsey and Pascal are to their respective roles. They both sparkle in the new trailer, just as Ellie and Joel are the pillars that pull the game together. We can all relax now that we've seen the trailer. The show is resting in good hands. Up next, what happens in the trailer? The trailer starts with Pascal roaming around a survivor's colony, set to a mercifully not-too-cinematic version of Hank Williams's Alone and Forsaken. When the action starts to get heavier, there's only a little bit of stomp and clap, no complete cover with melancholy, distorted voices like every other major streaming show trailer. This alone sets the show apart. We can definitely expect something entirely out of the box to come our way. Bella and Pascal look fantastic in their respective parts, and every aspect of the clothing and the scenery manages to communicate The Last of Us's strangely comfortable autumnal sadness without falling into straight-up mimicry. Additionally, it provides a few oblique glimpses of the infected, while also not revealing too much. These include the subtle revelation of an extreme close-up of a clicker. Those things are scary to look at, but we managed to get a look up close through the trailer. It's safe to say they're even more disgusting looking in the show. Other highlights include a brief glimpse of Nick Offerman while he held a shotgun. There was also a fun overhead shot of Ellie and Joel crossing a snow-covered bridge. There are also a few glimpses of Ellie and Joel on horseback, just like the flashback sequences that come around in the games frequently. Moving on, have Pedro and Bella played the games? As desperate as we are for the show's release, we also want the characters to be absorbed in their roles. That's why we're all curious as to whether they had played the games, and the answer is no. Both the actors have revealed that they did not play The Last of Us games to get ready for their roles. They were even advised not to do so. This was done so the actors would not over-imitate the games. In an interview with GQ, Pedro was asked about his acquaintance with The Last of Us. He said that he tried playing the games but eventually gave the controller to his nephew, since he lacked the particular kind of talent required to finish the game. Ramsey also revealed that she has not played the games. She was asked during her audition if she had the chance to play either part one or two of the game. Ramsey just said, nope, the people who were auditioning her were quite impressed and told her to keep it that way. It can be quite stressful to imagine someone who isn't well-versed in the universe playing such a crucial role. However, we could only hope that the creators know what they're going for by choosing actors who lack context. Finally, how long do we have to wait for the show? Initially, we all thought that the release date was going to be in 2022, but we were wrong. HBO corrected this misconception by announcing the show's release would be tentatively in early 2023. We'll have to find the patience within ourselves until it comes out, but a later release date is pretty good news. It shows that there's no rush for the team to get the show released, indicating that they are serious about doing it properly. Neil Druckmann, a writer for the series, also directed and wrote the game. Craig Mazin, another series writer, is a great fan of the games. Hence, we can trust that the show is definitely in good hands with people who care about this tale and its setting. Because of the extended wait, the show is much more likely to exceed the viewer's high expectations. This is preferable to the possible disappointment of a hurried adaptation. The show is expected to continue for almost eight seasons, making the first season even more essential. HBO appears to be approaching it correctly, just like they did with a show as long as Game of Thrones. In addition to the most crucial sequences from the game, the show will include stuff that was omitted from the game initially. This is part of the series' goal to focus on drama rather than action. With the re-release of the first part of the game in 2022, new fans will have the opportunity to be exposed to the universe ahead of the series' premiere. It may appear to be a lengthy delay right now, but the anticipated quality of the imagery and film already published is reassuring enough for us. Moving on to other news. Firstly, PlayStation is being questioned for The Last of Us re-release. There have been rumors that Sony and developer Naughty Dog have chosen to release Part 1 of The Last of Us remake for the PS5 in order to capitalize on the planned HBO series based on the game. However, PlayStation CEO Herman Holst has stated that this is certainly not the case, at least not fully. Holst noted that The Last of Us's initial 2013 release was a touch ahead of the time it came out in terms of its creative vision. He went on to state that due to technological restrictions at the time, Naughty Dog's ideas had to be toned down a notch or two. It has been widely shared by others engaged in the remake's production, with many claiming Naughty Dog intended the PS5 release 
released to be the conclusive rendition of the game. But the question of whether it should be published at the same time as future performances hasn't been officially answered, at least until now. Moving on, Lamar Johnson reassures game enthusiasts about the TV adaptation. In the upcoming show, Johnson plays Henry, Sam's older brother. The two come face to face with Joel as Henry begs Joel not to kill them. Although we don't understand the specifics of the series or how it will differ from the game, we may see more of Henry throughout the show than we expect. Nemiroff went on to question Johnson about the show's progression and the concern that gaming enthusiasts had for the series. Johnson answered by assuring us all that the people behind the show's creation are also fans of the game. According to him, they are absolutely listening to us all and assuring that the fans receive exactly what they desire. Adaptations are always challenging, but Lamar believes that the team behind this is invested in the material, the concept, and the characters. He went on to state, I think the viewers will truly enjoy the show. Finally, Pedro said some super kind words to Bella as they wrapped up. In a recent interview with USA Today, Ramsey discussed her role as Ellie in The Last of Us. She stated that she did not play the first game at the request of the producers of the show. Ramsey also talked about how long it took to film the series, which was a year, and showed the sweet card that Pascal gave her after filming was done. In the end, Pedro wrote her a little card saying how interesting their dynamic is, something so important and life-changing could happen so soon in Bella's life, but so late in Pedro's own life. Bella thought that it was a pretty cute observation, saying that she wouldn't forget the kindness he showed towards her throughout filming. And that's a wrap, folks. Are you guys excited about The Last of Us TV adaptation? Tell us in the comments below. And as always, make sure to click that like button and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on more steamy updates about The Last of Us franchise. See you in the next video.